Hi guys and welcome to my YouTube channel. For today's video, I thought it would be fun to take you guys with me for a few days in my life. My last video was a what I eat in a day, so I thought it would be fun to kind of give you guys a bigger gauge on my day-to-day -day life so that you guys can get to know me a little bit more. I don't have much planned today, I just want to get some filming out of the way for my health and fitness journey that will hopefully be up next week. My goal is to post every single Monday or at least once a week for you guys. And like I mentioned in my last video, I will be staying on the comments for an hour every time I post a video just so I can make sure I can get back to you guys. So don't forget to put on my post notifications. And also thank you guys to everyone who has subscribed to me. You don't even know how much it supports me. And I also have to go to Trader Joe's, which I'm going to do this morning. And I'll show you guys a little mini haul. Other than that, I don't have much going on. So I'll take you guys with me throughout the next couple of days. And I hope you enjoy the video. Okay guys, it is one o'clock right now and we just got back from Trader Joe's. I had to put everything away because we don't live that close to Trader Joe's and I didn't want anything to go bad. But starting with fruits and vegetables, we got some lemons, some avocado, and whenever I get avocados, I get a bag of the harder ones. And then in the bottom, there's some that are ready to eat this week. And then same for bananas. I usually like to get some that are more green and eat these throughout the week and then have those ready to go by next week. And if they start to get brown, I just freeze them for smoothies. And then moving on to freezer stuff. Obviously, I had some of this stuff in here already. But what we picked up today, starting with this ice cream, definitely not the best ingredients in my opinion. But it's good for like a little treat. And then you guys know my favorite bread. I always get one to freeze and then one to keep out. Some broccoli, asparagus. I just have some veggies over here. And then I want to try the cinnamon raisin Ezekiel bread. I've never tried it before. A few other things we picked up are these peanut butter cups with these chocolate chunks. We like to have something sweet before bed. And then this is my favorite almond butter from them. I always switch between creamy and crunchy. I'm going to try out this whey protein powder. Um, we got some trail mix to snack on. This brown rice pasta. I really like this one from Trader Joe's some corn tortillas to go with the chicken, and then me and Hunter both love snacking on a few of these as well. It's about 1.30 now, and I'm just now having lunch or brunch for the day. I never wait this late to eat. I usually wake up starving, but today honestly just got away from me, which is not normal. I'm still gonna have lunch. This is considered breakfast to me, even though it's one, but I just wanted to show you guys what I was having. Okay guys, I haven't picked up my camera since I think we got home from Trader Joe's, but I filmed a little bit of what I had for lunch today. It was nothing special. Today has been like a weird day for food, which is totally okay. That's what I preach all the time. If this is a lifestyle, it's totally okay to have off days. On days like today where I don't have a lot of time to cook, I just make sure to have protein, fat, and carbs with every single meal. That way I'm actually staying full and satiated long. Um, like today I haven't picked up a snack or anything like that just because I've been super distracted. I know that if I skip lunch because I'm too busy, by nighttime I'm gonna be starving in a horrible mood. So I definitely just don't skip meals. I make sure to make time. It can take five minutes if it really needs to. But today I've just been doing some computer stuff. I was able to edit the beginning of this video. And like you guys saw, I went and picked up some groceries with Hunter and I also worked out this morning. So it's been a really busy, productive day today. And not every day is like this. Some days I film TikToks all day and then go and make dinner. But today I think for dinner, I was going to make the Mexican bowls that I had in one of my TikToks that everyone keeps asking me to make the recipe for. But then I had Mexican food for lunch. So I'm not sure what I'll have. I am gonna grab a snack and then I am having a little FaceTime call with my friends really quick before I start making dinner. I'm not sure how long we'll stay on the phone. So depending on that, I will probably eat dinner around like seven or 7.30. It is 12:20, and I just took a shower and I'm about to get ready. I have a few things planned for the day. Okay. 
I have a few pieces of leftover shrimp from last night. I think I showed you guys. Yeah, I took a little video of my dinner last night. So that's what that's from. So we just have the broccoli, the shrimp, and the rice in there. And I already cooked the shrimp in coconut aminos yesterday. But after, I'm going to put some of them on top. I just got a new bottle yesterday. And if you don't know what coconut aminos are, it's just a soy sauce replacement pretty much. But to me, it tastes like teriyaki sauce. So I love it. I'm just going to sit here and eat this. And I will take you guys with us when we leave. I think I said the time, but... Yeah, it's 3.20 right now, so that's when I'm eating lunch. Guys, I broke my camera, and I am now on a new camera. It's very on brand for me to break something that's extremely expensive. Literally broken, wouldn't turn on. It is now three days later. Thank God Best Buy sent me a new one right away. The other one shouldn't even have broken as easily as it did. So they were totally okay with sending me a new one. But yeah, so I wanted to make this vlog three days. So I'm just going to pick up from here and vlog today. I have a pretty chill day ahead of me. I just got my packages in from Beginning Boutique, which I'm working with them for Instagram. So I need to try on those outfits, put them together. And then today Hunter and I are going to go take some shots for those. Wanted to show you guys everything that I got in. I don't know if you can tell but these pants are like bell bottoms and I'm literally obsessed with them I got this top to go with them this cute tan bucket hat with this little cardigan I am obsessed with tops like this and then with that outfit this little tan skirt so I'll probably wear this together and then this together with docs like I said I'll take you guys along with Hunter and I when we try and get some pictures of this so I'm just gonna sit here and go on my computer for a little bit since I didn't have my camera this morning I filmed a little clip of what I ate for breakfast on my phone so I'll put that right here it was just oats with coconut milk almond butter some frozen berries and i think that that's it I'm just gonna sit here and go on my computer and if you follow me on instagram then you know hunter and i've been looking for a nice couch for our apartment we are choosing between this one and then also this one so please let me know down below which one you like better Do not decide for the life of me a serious obsession of mine has been making mood boards on Pinterest for literally every single room in the apartment. Hunter and I get to find out today what number our new apartment is going to be so that we can go drive by it and just look at the placement of it. Hunter and I are moving in two weeks and that's why I've just been like so obsessed with being on Pinterest. That is what I'm going to sit here and do for a little bit and I'll probably have lunch before we go take some pictures and check out the apartment. So I'll take you guys with me for that. Nothing I'm filming. Look. I was afraid to like put that in my neck. Were you at the same one? No. Oh. Now it is about 2.30 and I'm about to make lunch. This is pretty similar to the shrimp bowl that I had, but instead of shrimp, I'm gonna do avocado. I have half of an avocado left from yesterday's lunch. I had this exact same thing. Then I have some rice and steamed broccoli in here. I'm just gonna grab some of the avocado. I'll probably do an entire half just so it keeps me full until dinner and tonight we're gonna have chicken tacos so I'm really excited for that you're gonna get sick of seeing this on my channel but yes I'm using coconut aminos again it's just so good I definitely made it look cuter yesterday but we just have the rice broccoli coconut aminos and avocado Super simple, you guys know by now, I like to keep my lunches as simple as possible and fast. Yeah, I'm just gonna eat this and then Hunter and I are probably gonna leave pretty soon. Guys, I just ate lunch and now I'm getting ready to go look at our apartment and take some pictures. Can we just take a second to look at how cute this outfit is? I don't wanna keep saying the word obsessed again, but this outfit is it. I decided to put on these urban sunglasses with it and put my hair up in a little I don't know one of these little trendy half ponytail things and I have on my dot now I'm just gonna try and put together the second outfit okay now I put on this cute little outfit bucket hats are not for everyone I understand that but they are for me so I'm gonna wear them I also grabbed this little bag from T Madison shop it's a shop here in Arizona they have an Instagram I'll put it on the screen I'll probably just put on some Air Force ones 
and I'm gonna try and show you guys a little bit of Hunter taking pictures of me but it's nothing special at all I'm gonna try and get a few shots while we're out but I probably won't get that many and it's really hot in Arizona so we have about 10 minutes to do this but I will catch back up with you guys in a little bit Okay guys, Hunter and I just took a few pictures in this outfit. We just went somewhere like five minutes from my house. I always take pictures here. And we were literally outside for maybe five minutes and it is so hot. Never wear an outfit like this in Arizona in the summertime. I don't know what I was thinking when I picked out this outfit. Now we're just gonna go look at the apartment. I tried to film when he was taking pictures of me, but it was just too much to handle, so we didn't. Okay, we just got back and I'm looking through some of the pictures. The only way to get a good Instagram picture is to literally take a million. It is four o'clock now and I'm just gonna sit here again and go on my computer and hopefully edit what I have so far for this video. Okay guys, for dinner I'm making tacos. I'm gonna use this Trader Joe's pollo asada. It's really good, it's just marinated and you're supposed to grill it but I'm just going to try and do it on the stove. I've never done it on the stove before, so we'll see how it turns out. I need to open this. First thing we have to do is put some olive oil. As you saw, I just put the chicken in with some olive oil on medium heat. So I'm just going to cook these and then I'm going to get all my other ingredients ready as well. So you just want to make sure you unfold them all and cook them on each side until you get that like golden brown and then you just keep flipping them until you feel like they're ready enough. When they start to get brown, you want to just transfer them over to a plate. A little cooking chair. Now I'm just gonna add in some bell peppers and onions. I like to add these on top of the tacos. I just feel like it makes it taste a lot better. I just chopped up some of these bell peppers and onions earlier this week and froze them. I just like to keep the bell peppers on until they're brown like this and now I'm just going to pull them off and transfer them into a different little bowl. I don't know if I ever said the time but it's about 8.12 now and this is everything we have for our tacos and then we just have the corn tortillas from Trader Joe's. This salsa is from Costco and it's literally our favorite. Highly recommend.
Okay guys, I just finished eating dinner and I forgot to mention, but Hunter and I loved the placement of the apartment. It was in a perfect spot, so that was really good news today. But I just wanted to come on here and end off the video and say thank you so much if you made it to the end. If you did, let me know in the comments down below. Like I mentioned earlier, my next video is gonna be my health and weight loss journey. So if you have any specific questions for me, put them down below so I can answer them in that video. But again, thank you guys. I love you so much. Have a good night.